And it is day one of the Canfield Fair. People are already pouring into the fairgrounds. First News anchor Dave Sess has been there most of the day. He joins us live with one of everybody's favorite parts of the fair, the food. Yeah, for many of you, the fair is all about family and friends and having fun. For some of you, it's about food. Well, we'll make that for a large portion of you. It's all about the food. We're here along one of the many, many food rows out at the Canfield Fair. I think you'll recognize this one next to the rock because a lot of you come to these places before you sit down and eat. Of course, Antone's, Andrew's Sausage, Ribeye Steak here. It's all about the food for some of you, for some of you people in the food places. I found one person who was wheeled onto the fairgrounds, though, for the very first time. Melissa Richardson has a famous name, and yes, she's related to the Richardson Fries family. But this is her first time running the show at the fair. Been coming here since I've been a child, and so it's really like a, a dream to set up my food stand here. I mean, I'm, we're beyond excited. Her stand is right along Bishop Street. She got the trailer 10 years ago, but finally got a pass for the fair, and she has high expectations. Oh, they're very high. <laughs> I have very high expectations. Um, we have a lot of different products that the valley hasn't seen before. The plate in front of her truck is dominated by one of those, the everything elephant ear. Two funnel cakes, one elephant ear, one fried cupcake, a fried Twinkie, two fried marshmallows, a fried Oreo, also fruit chocolate and powdered sugar. People don't want the same old, same old. Sometimes, I mean, that's good, but people want to try different new crazy things. Her food will be featured in the fall on Food Network's Carnival Eats, but right now she's concentrating on the Canfield Fair. Like my heart is pounding being here. I'm, I, I can't, there's no words to describe being at the Canfield Fair. That everything elephant ear you saw, it runs $20. It'll easily feed a family of four. By the way, Melissa says the big seller so far has been fried Oreos. By the way, she says Ohioans and Pennsylvanians love their junk food. She told me down south it's elephant ears with butter that gets everybody all excited. And in North Carolina, they love honey with everything. If you joined me for First News at 5, you saw the giant 1,500-pound pumpkin. Just think how many pumpkin pies that could make. You can find that story on our website, WKBN.com. I'll be back at 6 with more from the Canfield Fair. Live on the fairgrounds, Dave Sess, WKBN 27 First News.